Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. To my subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming back. And to the newbies, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss a video from me. Today, we're going to be testing out something that I've wanted to test out for such a long time. It is using powder before applying your foundation. <laughs> This was very interesting to me because I do have combination skin. So I forgot to mention, this unconventional method of applying powder before your foundation is meant to help control the oil on your face throughout the day. I don't get super, super duper oily, but I have combination skin. So I've already moisturized and primed my face. I'm going to use my RCMA translucent powder today to set all over my face before I put my makeup on. Uh, that's weird to say, but yeah, I'm gonna use this first and then I'm gonna apply my foundation. This just feels so wrong to do, but I applied some of the powder to my puff and I'm just gonna press it into my skin. This powder is great, but for me, if I use it to set my face after my makeup, it gives me flashback so that's why i don't use it but it's gonna be under my makeup today so hopefully it works so i'm just gonna go in with my mac concealer and just go in and conceal the really dark areas first uh, my concealer is going on pretty much the same honestly i expected this to be cakey like my makeup to cake up i really hope this works actually because I do get kind of oily throughout the day. So I'm just going to go in with my foundation. I'm using the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Foundation per usual. I'm just going to dot this all over my face. Going on pretty much the same. It's not cakey. It's gliding on smooth. Nothing is different. My face just feels very matte. That's a good thing. It's not really patchy or anything. So my foundation looks identical to when I usually do it without putting the powder down first. So this is a good sign. So I just went ahead and applied my concealer. My concealer went on great. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. Now I'm going to go in with my Scandinavia Setting Spray. I use this every time I do my makeup so I know how it's supposed to hold up throughout the day. So right now my makeup is looking pretty normal. My pores aren't emphasized. The coverage is pretty good. And it looks pretty, like, normal to me. It doesn't even look like I did that powdered step. My face doesn't look cakey in person or anything like that. So I just wanted to zoom in really quick and show you guys my face pretty close up and personal. <laughs> this is how it's looking right now. Uh, it's looking really nice and smooth. This is really unexpected. So it's 7.22 in the evening right now. So I will check in with you guys when I get back. Hey guys, I'm back and it is 11.58 p.m. And I am so ready to take off my makeup. As you can see, I already have my bonnet on. I am so ready to go to bed. But I kept this makeup and stuff on as long as I possibly could. I'm extremely tired. I had a really long day. And my makeup has held up amazingly today. I usually get oily on my t-zone area especially like in my nose area here i do have on highlight so it's gonna look kind of dewy in this area but i'm usually super dewy right in my forehead area up here especially after five hours and um i get oily right up in here but right now my face is still looking super good and super matte i would highly suggest this method because it doesn't make your foundation look cakey whatsoever you look very nice and fresh even throughout the day. I did not have to touch up at all. I usually honestly don't touch up at all, but I probably would need to regularly. Matter of fact, I will put some video footage right here. I mean, as you guys can see, I look, um, you know, kind of dewy, definitely very oily on my forehead area. This actually works. I'm actually really 
surprise I will definitely be doing this if I have an event to go to or I need my makeup to last all day because this definitely works you oily oily skin girls out there I would highly suggest trying this out uh, leave me a comment down below if you've tried this method and you like it and do you sleep in your bonnet at night and does your man or your bae like not like your bonnet how does he feel about bonnets because my husband doesn't mind bonnets you know what I mean but thank you guys so much for watching this video do not forget to thumbs it up I'm gonna go rip these eyelashes off take off this makeup put on a face mask and I will see you in the next video and don't forget to check out some of my other content I made it just for you so check it out and I'll see you in the next one